Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Oh, so this is the utility class uh, Java file. Here we have how to upload file with robot class. Basically, uploading files in Selenium directly not possible. You don't have option. You don't have any methods to do that. Because if you observe this, if you go to anywhere, uh, here you have in the Gmail also, right? This, if you click on this attach file, you will get a window. Windows are not handled by Selenium. That's a drawback. Remember that. What is the drawback of Selenium? Windows are not handled by Selenium. Windows applications are not supported by Selenium. Only web applications it supports. Even in the web applications, if you are getting windows like this, those are not supported by Selenium. Then how can we handle that? To handle that, we are taking help from Java, that is robot class, which has all the keys uh, that supports handling these windows. So that is a one thing and we are using that. And other way, if you have a edit box, then you can type using send case method and you can upload the file. But here that is not option, right? Here you don't have option to type here. See here you don't have option to type. You have to click this pin icon, then window you are getting. There is no edit box here. So such cases, the Selenium cannot do anything. And that's why we are using this robot class. So what this robot class is going to do? So we have written already ready-made method. You just call the method that way. So public static void upload file with robot and give file path, which file you want to upload. Then string selection. So that string selection equal to new string selection of file path. And then you get the clipboard. So clipboard clipboard equal to toolkit dot get default toolkit method dot get system clipboard you're getting the clipboard basically from the toolkit class and get default toolkit method and then get system clipboard method from that clipboard you set the contents of this string selection command null you give but this is the path you are setting you are copying to system clipboard and keeping it ready. Okay. Now you create object for robot class. This robot class is available in java.awt package. So robot, robot equal to null and try catch blocks we are using robot equal to new robot and it is throwing awt exception. That's why I added try catch block. So when you create an object, it is throwing a AWT exception. So I added a try catch block. Or you can use a close declaration also. It's up to you. And robot dot delay, this object dot delay, some time we are giving. Now, so understand. So this is already copied. Then I want to do control V here. So I want to do a control V here in this. First, I need to click on this enter key. You need to click on this file name edit box. Then I need to paste it here, control V. First enter, you need to press the enter key. So that I am showing for pressing the enter key, I am using key press method. So for key press method, you have to give which key you want to press. That key event dot VK underscore enter. Then robot dot Key release key event dot weak underscore enter key event dot weak underscore enter pressing the control V key and releasing the control V so robot dot key press key event dot weak underscore control robot dot key press key event dot weak underscore V so that is the control V you pressed. Now you release the same keys. So you, any key you press, 
you release with key release method any key you want to press call key press method and now i want to release key release key event dot vk underscore v key release key event dot vk underscore control now once you paste that this control v will paste the file path which file you are uploading that file path will be pasted there then you need to press the this after pasting so you need to press this here. selection is on the open you need to press open button so that pressing enter key you need to press robot dot key press key event dot we underscore enter and uh, key release we key event dot we can underscore enter so this is the complete code to upload the files in selenium otherwise there is no other option for us in selenium so if there is a edit box you can type but here no edit box right always you will get like a pin or attach file something so such cases you have to do this okay and this just call this method it will upload the files so let's see how to upload and we'll see that upload file concept and let me show you file upload i'll explain the scenario so this is the one we are using monster.com registration phase so we are using this so directly we'll land here here you have a upload resume so this you have to click when you click on this you will get a window so this window you have to press the enter key here you don't need to do all these things after clicking the that upload you are getting this window this window is not handled by selenium directly that's why we are calling a robot class process call the robot class process once you get this window that's it it will take care automatically everything file also it will upload so for this see i'm going to handle that with a uh, so expected conditions title contains a register and click on choose file up button so you click on choose file button this one choose so you right click inspect so you will get automatically here yeah this is what we are getting that that's why sometimes this is not giving properly so you have to upload files so file upload label so even class you have label dot upload also you can use so whatever we have used this is um span browse text uh, span browse text yeah both we have used okay that will take care so driver dot find element by dot xpath dot click so we clicked it then immediately we are waiting some time waiting for some time then utility dot upload file with robot class file path so this is the file path just check this file is there or not see users downloads downloads that document dot pdf is there or not it's document one is there but document dot pdf is not there any file so you should have file document hyphen one is there get the path so give the correct file okay if file is uh, users Lenovo documents and document hyphen one correct file you have to give which file you want to upload okay so this is the file and after uploading see manually also you do that manually also you do upload so then you will come to know so i'll go to downloads document see you'll get option here upload successfully we should get but it's not getting so that option is i think they they changed it so before it was there you will get a upload so that you don't have now that option you don't have so you are getting now directly upload box v2 upload box new success info you should get the success info and that we don't have here message box so there is a remove button okay so before it was there file uploading success upload file all this but uh, now they change it now 
success info is there but uh, we don't have so it is changing now so this this box is enough you can wait for this box so new box success info you can wait and uh, the message box that's it yeah that is changing now so we have to so give this change that's what so i'm waiting for that this box i'm waiting for this box okay i'm waiting for that and then if upload success message you know whole success message is not there so we have to delete all this right we have to delete all this so before a success message was coming now it is not there so only that is the so automatically it will wait so that change happened okay that change happened so we'll take that jquery date picker let me take the this browser code so run the test case so right click run as java application test ng test sorry it's a test ng right you have to run as test ng test chrome driver is launch something wrong okay let's see what is the error no such element exception choose file browse text okay so first let's take this so whether it is identifying or not we need to see that okay close this mm -hmm. okay choose a cv right so that is the change so now it is recognizing okay so this is the change so always check so what is the exception we got your xpath is wrong your identification is wrong so no such element exception remember all these exceptions they are going to ask you no such element exception when you will get that so just change that now run it so always you read the exception and go to the line number so you will get a line number here you should not uh, know just stack trace all this look for your class name so where is your class name look for uh, in this log look for the class name see our pack is class name dot upload file line number 33 so this is the line number that so when you click on that it will take you automatically right that line will highlight so that is the this file upload concept and now right click and then run as test ng test when we got no such element exception if no element is recognized by the given object identification locator then no such element exception you will get so what you need to do check the given object identification is correct or not see now it is opened the path will be pasted there see done okay that's it so let's see so closed done the object identification is correct and passes now so no failures at all it is uploaded so that's why it waited for that so that is the how to upload files using robot class okay that is the one thing and uh, any questions before going to how to download files how to download files so downloading files so in selenium you can do with the uh, firefox browser and chrome browser both browsers you can use so let me give you the reusable methods we have written already that same methods you can use to download here is the one public static the return type is firefox options class download file using firefox and give the string path first create object for firefox options class firefox options options equal to new firefox options class basically this class is used to set the settings in the firefox browser this class methods will help us you can set anything in the firefox browser preferences all your preferences you can set in the firefox browser so that is this firefox options method now so it has to be set to two to make firefox use custom download directory in the above given download directory so we have to so whatever the path you are giving that 
path where you want to download that path you are telling if value is zero it will download the file to user's desktop if it is a one it is downloading to default downloads folder if you give one it will download to desktop if you give zero to desktop if you give one it will download to downloads folder but if you give two the custom path it will download it will download to custom path options dot add preference browser dot see these options object dot add preference method i'm calling a non static method from this class object and that is browser dot download dot folder list so i'm giving the my folder path where i want to download it will download to that folder and options dot add preference browser dot download dot dir a path file path so automatically it will download to this path then options dot add preference browser dot helper apps never ask save to disk for this kind of files application zip file and there is the mime types so what kind of file you are downloading that mime types are there so that mime types you have to use that mime types we have to use and mime types means uh let me show you mime types for each application type mime types so these are the ones application xml this is the file type for this kind of files you have to give this is the mme type for audio that one you have to give so let's go to complete you will get the complete idea so which file you are downloading that mme types you have to ch change text html text plane so application object stream meaning downloading this file so application x java applet see if you are downloading pdf you have to give like this application pdf if you are downloading zip you have to give zip file application zip you have to give so like that we have each and every file type here is all the mme types so if you are downloading json so you have to give application json if you are downloading javascript application json script and uh, let me show you mp4 they have to give this any video you are downloading you have to give this if you are downloading any webp and you have to give this and uh, so our application zip thing here we don't have but so you'll get that so different mme types will be there right so mme types enables browsers to recognize the file type of file which has been sent via http by the web server so that's the reason so we have to use mme types for each types different documents different files you have that mme types so that mme types we have to put it there otherwise it won't work so that's why i kept here uh, application slash zip so i'm downloading zip file that i kept here and browser dot download dot manager show when starting false so don't show any dialog boxes i'm showing i'm telling that and any javascript alerts are there disable them that is true i kept so see add preference see string integer add preference string string add preference string string add preference string boolean add preference string boolean so see one method name is same in this class the class contains multiple methods with the same name but parameters are changing what kind of so polymorphism is this what kind of whoops concept is this method overloading method overloading method overloading yeah so that is the concept you you can give these this methods examples if they ask you can you give method overloading examples that's the one thing how to download with this and return these options return these options 
same Chrome options also you have. So you create object for Chrome options, options equal to new Chrome options, and create a hash map object. And they will ask you where you have used hash map in your Selenium. You can give this map string object, preference map, new hash map, a key value pair, right? This is the key value pair hash map means. Preferences map dot put, profile dot default content settings dot popups are true. So preferences map dot put, download a default directory, this path, what are the path you are giving, that path you download, and options dot set experimental options from these options, Chrome options, set experimental options, and these preferences, and you pass it. Then return these options. What are the options you are setting in the Chrome browser? That you return. So this method also returns Chrome options object. Chrome options class is returning. So let's call these things. How to upload a download with Chrome. So I'll just take here, download file using Chrome. Basically I'm doing that download from the our uh, uh, Selenium website. All the zip file I'm downloading. See, download file using Chrome. Let me take this Chrome path. This path only will take. Only that path is the difference. So I'll just replace that path. But the main change is going to come here only. See this. So you have to call this method. Whatever the method we discussed now here, right? That method you have to call. So this method is return type is Chrome options. OPT equal to utility dot download file using Chrome file path. I'm going to download this into this folder. WebDriver JS folder, I'm downloading this file. Selenium standalone server file, I'm downloading. And so for this driver equal to new Chrome driver, you have to pass this OPT, the Chrome options object, you have to pass to the Chrome driver. Till now, we didn't pass anything, right? Now I'm using a parameterized constructor for the Chrome driver. So I'm passing Chrome options object here so that these settings will be implemented in the Chrome browser and that will be downloaded automatically. That's the only change. And now that you are directly going to the disk downloads, first check the, the D web driver jars is having the this file or not. So what is that file? Let me show you which file you are downloading, just see that. And this is the file we are downloading. So this one, Selenium server. So this is the one I am downloading. This is the XPath, this XPath we got it. So this is the XPath we got, but how can you get that XPath? So I right click, copy XPath I use, copy XPath I have used. Or you can also write that, you can also write from here. So you can also write your XPath. So that is also fine. So this is the XPath we constructed. See, even I copied from, so I'm getting the same XPath, right? So that's the one. So I waited for the page title, then identify the element, then click on that element. You can directly write a click here. So no need again, this, all these things, I can avoid that. So unnecessary, uh, the click it, dot click. So why you want multiple lines? Right? So we don't want multiple lines. So then it will download the web driver jars. First check whether a web driver jars contains that file or not. If it is there, we have to remove that so that uh, Selenium standalone server, right? Uh, let me delete this. Even I will delete this also because I'm going to download this also. Okay? Now, now run this program. So it has to download that file to that web driver jars folder. See whether it is going to download or not. See, it is downloaded and you can go there web driver just see the file see now today's date 4579 so this is the time you can see 79 so in this time it is downloaded to web driver just given folder it is downloaded so that is how to download using this so all as we have written already ready made method that method you are just calling here so that is all in the browser setup so you are not doing anything here you're just clicking and automatically it will go to that path this path. That is the one how to download file using Chrome. So next how to download file using Firefox. 
So I'm using Firefox code to download. Let's see that. So open this download space. Then here is the one. So I'm using this this table. So I'm downloading Java related. I'm clicking on this download. So we already practiced this XPath. Java related download. I want to click it. So how can you do that? First, we need to identify this Java. Then this download I need to click on this so that download is a, having a, a a tag so that yeah I, I have provided following a so this is the first Java you identify see Java we identified then following first a it will download automatically so then click on this I, this also I'll minimize so why we want uh, so two lines unnecessary just click it you don't need all of it and download it will be over in this so the selenium jars will be downloaded to that folder but we have to change the this uh, gecko driver path let me take from here the gecko driver path gecko driver path is changed <clears throat> that's why we are using this but in the framework you don't need to do all these things okay just run the test case so that file will be downloaded to that respective folder but i called here you can observe i called here that so firefox options opt equal to utility dot download file using firefox and then i'm passing for a firefox driver this firefox options object i'm passing as a constructor i'm taking so i'm taking the parameterizer constructor for the firefox driver class so we are passing for that firefox driver class object the constructor parameterized constructor you are passing it is done so let's go there see that four five seven twelve the zip file this is the zip file zip file is downloaded that's it so this is how to upload and download files using selenium and one more is there so sometimes the robot class may not work then what is the alternative procedure so we have auto it tool so let me show you auto it tool you can all install this auto it tool we have in the our blog clearly explained auto it tool so this is the auto it tool in the labels you can find auto it tool so auto it tool is a third party tool which helps us to upload and download files using this tool so this tool is a very useful one and if a robot class is not working uploading and another firefox options chrome options class are not helping to download you can take help from this auto hit tool so auto hit tool basically you go to this website okay and you go to this here we are going to discuss how to download auto it how to install auto it and check the auto it help section to find out which methods we are going to use and script editor and then how to upload file in selenium using auto it this is the topics we are going to cover here first you go to this url everybody opens this and open this url open in another tab okay go here and so this is the website auto it website so in this you have auto it and auto it editor so the, even yesterday we discussed about menu handling right you can work on this also so you need to click on downloads whether you're able to click or not you check that and then verify this this heading uh this uh, this uh, this also this way you can verify this breadcrumb also this is called breadcrumb and you are getting this text or not you can verify that how can you verify this text get the text so right get the text and verify that so select a sub you can take or anything you can take and you can get that breadcrumb complete breadcrumb and you can check that auto it downloads so this is the breadcrumb see that p id breadcrumb is there you can call this and it will give you that entire text and then auto it downloads is there in that text or not you check that then breadcrumb is there so like that how to check breadcrumb is how to get the breadcrumb so use id or some xpath you write 
for entire thing and get that entire thing in the entire text so auto it downloads is there or not you check a string methods you are use contains method this is the entire thing is one string dot contains we need to check auto it downloads because we clicked on the downloads here we clicked on the downloads so it will land on this download zone that's a in the breadcrumb particular piece is there or not often you check is this is the process so get the text from a piece then contains method you call on that string and which one you want to check to a particular string you give this string you need to check that string you give that it will verify so these are all the different scenarios so many handling is very important so in this i have to download first so everybody launched this so you need to go down so you can download this download auto it download auto it you click on this so clearly given here with the you know marks see that mouse over on auto it menu click on downloads click on download auto it button here is i highlighted also here you can see highlighted also so download that and then install it double click you will get a exe file double click on that it will install to do that installation then next one so once that installation keep going let it do that installation you don't need to do anything right just click on next 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 once you launch you click on next 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 you don't need to change anything then mouse over on auto it editor then click on editor downloads so click on editor downloads now see that this is the breadcrumb how you can validate so auto it script editor downloads are this this text you verify then how do you know you landed in this page there's some verification you have to do either this one or this one you have to do all this you practice take up these exercises menu handling and getting this breadcrumb text and how to validate assert also you can use assertion you can use assert true get this text text dot contains this particular string this is the verification you have to do so that text is there or not then come down and this is the one scat for auto it three dot exe file you have to download click on this download it then install this one also you need to install both of them both of them you have to install so auto it and auto it editor both you have to install so once you install and you can see them in the c program files in the c program files x86 program files x86 you can find them the auto it 3 here it is going to install so this is the installation directory this is the installation directory and then you can open this auto it 3 info x64 you just double click on that it will open to you this is the finder tool and this will help us so this will help us to give the, the title this title and the class and the instance so these are important for us how will you get these values so you have to take this finder tool and wherever you are getting this uh, upload and download concept right and there see that i'm going to use now i'm using upload so you just take this finder tool and drag and drop on this edit box so now you got the values see this now you got the values this is the one so title is open and uh, there is a controller id is there so that id is this class value plus instance value so combo box one is the controller id so that is the how you can find now you want this open button see now open is the title and button one is the your controller id so not a class plus instance value is the controller id so that automatically it will click on this you can identify this one you can identify this one also so for typing also we have some methods all those methods are tell you first you will click on this here so we have context to click on some method is there i'll show you those methods you go to this 
uh, auto hit editor there is a help section here you can see this is the help section so uh, this is the help section this one you just double click on this so all in the installation directory can find them so then select index and control click is there control click control focus is there first you need to focus see control focus method we are going to use first method control focus method you have to pass title this title value from where you will get from this finder tool this is the title so this is the control id second parameter you leave it blank as it is no need to change anything just uh, blank you leave it within double quotes then third parameter this one that is the control id is this button plus this value so button one you write in the control id so first it will focus on this edit box here here so we focused then what you want to do you need to type the file path right for that we have a one more method control set text method is there this one control set text method is there so again here also you need to pass that so this id this this file edit box is there right this id you need to pass that's a open so you pass that title as a open right pass the title as a open so this title you will get from here and the second parameter leave it blank then control id is this combo box and this one and new text so which text you want to type the file path you give here that's a thing you have to give that which the text you want to set into that control so control means this is the one control means this is the control in this control what text you want to set that text so that is the how you can just click on this drag and drop drag and drop you will get that so this is the one edit one you will get so edit one you will give that and same drag and drop on the open so after setting the text after setting the text and we have to use control click you have to click on that open button so that title you give that open button so this open is the title and control id you have to give button one that's it these are the three methods we are going to use to upload or download files upload this is the three methods you are going to use so take the help and we have everything clearly given here in our blog you can see here so you can see in your blog very clearly first have you all downloaded this that both of them follow step by step you see that even step by step screenshots i have provided here and the help section and these are the method control focus sets the focus to that edit box control set to text so it sets the text which text you want to upload and control click so it will click on the open button so these are the methods we are using so then launch this auto edit editor identifier tool from c program files x86 auto edit because this is the installation directory for auto edit then this is the win one you just double click on this auto edit this thing and it will open this finder tool this one this is the finder tool so this is the finder tool and it will open and just a drag and drop wherever you want right and then launch by clicking auto edit info to open identifier tool and once you launched it so go to c program files rdtsc click on to this editor launch so automatically so that any window you open and you can so drag and drop there then drag and drop see that all the options i have given very clearly here see that so the title value and the control id and those values you have to take these two also okay and that is the one how to upload files so let me show you how to upload files using chrome browser so i'm using so chrome browser it is different firefox browser it is different okay make sure uh, both are different let me show you one 
a website. So here we are practicing automationpractice.com. So here we have uh, the scenario is first understand the scenario. I want you uh, one more exercise I'm giving here for you all. So once you launch this URL, okay, once you launch this URL, click on contact us. So make a steps, all the steps, click on contact us. So then you will land in this page. So here you have to select webmaster you select from this drop down. Then type the email address and type the so this message edit box some message you type then upload files so you do through robot class okay you do through robot class then i'll show you now how to do with this robot this auto eat tool see i'm going to click on this i'll get a window okay so this i'll get a window now this is the one i'm going to do edit one i got title is open and control id is edit plus one class plus instance value is the control id edit one so i'll get the this one then you'll get open so open is this one and button one so button one you can do that so this is the what we have to do that once it is done then we can write the script we have to write a script so that script I'll just show you how to do that, all those things. So we need to generate a script for this. So we are going to write a script for this. So how to generate a script? Let me show you that. So that script I have saved already. I'll just show you that. And C and uh, auto it script. And this is the one a script I'm going to generate. So I just generated the script like this. So this one, application, I'll uh, delete it, and application I'm deleting, and I'll do that again for you. So upload Chrome, right? Just open this script, auto it script. So edit with Notepad Plus, so this is the one. So win wait, open. So something where I'm giving wait, control focus. This is the title, and second is a blank, edit one. So just now I have shown right edit one. This is the edit one you got it right for this. So this is the edit one that I have given here in the script. This is the auto edit script we are generating now. The methods I'm calling all the methods I'm generating the script. Then sleep for five seconds. Control set text. Now in this edit uh, box I want to set the title and the edit box name and the file which file you want to upload, the file you give. So this is the file I want to upload. I can upload this file or whatever the file you want, you just give like this. D backward slash the folder structure you can give. So this is the file it will upload. And then control click, you click on this open button. You click on this open button. How can you get that open button? So drag and drop onto this open button and you'll get the values title value and the control id value button one so that is what i have given here you can see that title is this title is open and then button one is the control id then save this save this save as dot au3 file dot au3 file you save it so i'm going to create a new folder for us auto it script um may 4th 2021 so in this script i'll save that file file upload chrome see automatically save as a type dot au3 i don't need to write again so automatically it is taking first time you if you are not getting just don't worry select save as a type is a all files and then give dot au3 so you have to select save type as a dot au3 Okay, make sure that you are selecting dot au3 format so this is the file i'm going to upload and then same for firefox also it will change so firefox also it will change so we'll keep that firefox one also a different and uh, so same automation practice website you open automationpractice.com this is all website 
for automation practice only. You can practice all your scenarios on this website, my store. Okay. So now click on contact us. Another scenario I will give you uh, that you need to do that. I, I want to see how many of you are going to do that. And here, see again, if you click on choose file, Firefox choose file window options will be different. Click on this, right? So now you launch that. So this, this title or control ID will be different again. So I'll launch that uh, control ID, auto it, uh, go to key because I closed that. So auto it, so this is the one, double click and you go to that, um, this one. Now see, so he drag and drop, drag and drop on this edit box. See that now you got file upload, title values, file upload and edit one we got it and same drag and drop on the open button see title is file upload and button one so this is what we need to change so i'll change this um save file type as i'll change it uh, this already we changed me and again i'll change file upload first i'll change this save as already one file we saved file upload firefox so both we have now both we have so now you change this file up file upload file upload wherever title is there you remove file upload and this is the button one only button one only so and you can drag and drop so edit one only so edit one also same similar edit one also so just save it and that's the thing what you here edit one only edit one edit one and button one is you are getting you're getting button one so you're getting button one see that button one only you're getting so same so button one you got it so this is how to generate a script file upload firefox file upload chrome we generated now you can go and see that so the two files are available here the two files are available here auto it script i just created one folder in that folder i'm generating these scripts file upload chrome file upload firefox now the next step after generating the scripts next step is you right click on this file any file one file compile script so compile script you can click on that compile script 64 you can do or compile script also fine just to compile script so you'll get an exe file you'll get see that upload file chrome application you got same you do upload Firefox also right click compile script x64 you'll get another exe file for Firefox so this exe file we are going to use to upload and download files but this is for upload download also you do the same okay so this is the one you are going to how you are going to do that I'll explain you in the tomorrow's class tomorrow is the last class for web driver then we are going to start uh, selenium framework okay and uh, so one or two programs are pending only so that will finish that tomorrow one 